the Double RT Boxing Show. Oh, I'm your host, Mr. A. And we're going to talk some boxing as soon as this show comes back on. I have it, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you're kind enough to do it right now before we finish. But if you want to wait until you're entertained to see if you're entertained, more than fair to do that. But I have this 117-110 in favor of King Tug Nayamar Nibayar in the WBC Eliminator. I have him uh, defeating uh, Claudio Mariario. Now, I thought you saw a lot. I, well, at least I did. My, these peepers. I I, I definitely thought Nambiar was going to knock him out. I said fifth round. I thought, okay, not fifth. You can at least knock him out. But the fight seemingly won the quarter. The first quarter of the fight dominated to me. Not ass would have been dominating, but just control the pace, control the stage. It was his show, Nambiar. You know, points, distance, uh, all that was dominated. When I say that, I say dominate like that. You know, sometimes people say dominate, they, they, they think of ass whooping. I say dominate. I'm going to start saying, as for me and the you audience of the WRT Boxing Show, when we, when we say a clean dominance performance, it means sweet science. You know, clean dominance. The first quarter of the fight was a clean dominant performance. But then, as I was scoring the fight, I, you know, I put the little question marks and stuff. I gave him uh, Morrow's round 6, 7, and uh, 9. Now, I gave a question mark in round 5, so you could have given him round 5. but Because in round 5, he started to break. He came out that round faster hands. Like I said, he, in, the, in the breakdown, we discussed he had the faster uh, hand speed. They're, they're showing the one-time locker room. What are they... And there's hold see Ryan Robert Garcia made the flight. Okay, we're, they're still not talking about the scorecards. Now we discussed the hand speed in round five. It, Mar- Mariario came out with the hand speed. Okay, let's see what the scorecards are. Again, I have it 117 110. Let's see what it has. As, Larry Hazard. He's a little slow. I mean, talking wise, you know, I don't, I don't want people get, getting all offended saying, "Hey, Mister, hey, don't talk about people's mental state of mind." A little slow on the microphone, folks. Scorecards are. One hundred fourteen to one hundred thirteen. One fourteen, one thirteen. Mm. And John. One fifteen, one twelve. Oh. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Unanimous decision. And moving on to fight Mo- the world. Gary Russell. Oh, Gary Russell's opponent is King Tug. There it is, right there, folks. That was some good ass drawn out. Lampley, man, they drew that shit out. Moving on and facing the challenger. They're like, ooh, ooh dad, you on your edge of your seat. Big ups to fucking PBC right there, man. They. That was a good little cliffhanger. Thumbs up if you agree. That was a nice little draw out. So, now, like I said, I thought he was moving, came on around five faster hands. And like I said, in this fight, and all fights, it tug does seem to have a, uh, it's a two-sided tug coin. First half, every fighter is, obviously, fights are two halves. But King Tug is a different, he's, he does a lot of movements, you know, waist movement, head movements, good feet work. And he's, he, he doesn't have the fastest hands, but he's, he's good hands. But the second half of the fight, it seems he gets a little tired, whether it's a second win or not. I, from what I've seen to him, I haven't really seen a second win kick in strong enough for him yet. So I'm seeing him getting tired. And showing some championship grit and pulling through. I haven't seen a, a, a second win comeback kick ass. And today, uh, 
he had to show some grit. Like that, Marrero came on strong. Like it's, Bill started building up his faster hands in round five. Six, I said, was a question mark. I gave it to him. Seven, I gave to him a little. Eight, TV Fox gave to him. I gave it back to uh, Nambiar. I thought he did just enough in the last 20 seconds to decide a decisive round. <laughs> you know? Because, um, like I said, if it wasn't for that last 20 seconds, Ma- Maria, Ma- Ma- wasn't how you pronounce his name? Marario? Ma- Marario? He probably would have won it because he was doing nice, clean sticks, nice things here and there. More of the simple punching than because they each were landing simple punches in round six. Um, but I mean, round eight, the Nambiar was landing not as many, but that last flurry in the last 20 seconds, like a little head rocking hooks. I gave them that round. Round nine, the fight kind of was starting to head back to round one. You saw Nambiar keeping the distance. And then round 10, in the break, fucking Claudio emotions. He's an emotional fighter. He hit him on the break. That de- it got a point deducted. And then from there, it really kind of changed the fight, considering that I gave Nambiar that round with a point. It was a 10-8 round. And looking at the judge card, the cards, 114-113, that two point could have been diff- big. 115, 112. Those two points are big. Those, those are some big, big, you know. So that round, that late hit was pretty. Emotions get the best of people and it, it cost them pretty good. But like I said, in rounds 11 and 12, I thought Nambiar pulled it away. Now, as far as uh, him winning this eliminated fighting, the WBC champion, Nambiar versus Russell. That is a whole nother episode of the Double RT Boxing Show. That sounds like an episode of Mr. A's Thoughts. Why don't you check that out? See you in the future.